we're at Disney Springs and it's not raining? What is this? Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Michael. We're gonna be spending the evening here at Disney Springs looking at a few stores that are gonna be reopening. You guys are gonna get to tag along. It's gonna be a ton of fun. A lot of stuff has reopened since the last time we were here and I'm not having to carry an umbrella around this time. Before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It'll keep you updated with my latest video. And if you would like to support my channel, please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash world of Mike. We're donating $1 a month can help fund episodes just like this. Now, let's take a closer look. First stop is going to be inside Disney style. Oh man, it's open. Tons of Muppet stuff right here as you walk in. I guess they're getting ready for that new Muppet show that's coming to Disney Plus. It's funny, Abby actually has the original version of this shirt. It's white. You'll see her wearing it in some of the episodes. She's had it for a very long time. And now they're putting it back out in the stores. And DuckTales, woo, galore. Look at that, man. So much stuff. And Jason, if you're watching this, they got a lot of stuff from Goof Troop and a Goofy movie. Dude, so awesome. Look at all this. Bobby's Pizza, Powerline. Hey, Gadget from Rescue Rangers has a shirt. And some new pins. Some Goofy Movie pins right here. I kind of love this shirt. Very 90s. Disney style had a lot of new stuff. Just kind of giving you guys an idea of what the crowds are looking like over here next to Jock Lindsay's. We're gonna grab some famous fish and chips at Cook's of Dublin. You know, I've actually never eaten here before. And this is the food. The fish, the chips, tartar sauce, ketchup. Looks pretty good. It was really good. Don't know if we'll be back to get the fish and chips here. I prefer to get the fish and chips at Epcot. The price was a little pricey, honestly, for what we got. But nonetheless, I'm full and it was good. Just think we're gonna continue to get our fish and chips from Epcot. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, I would eat it again. It's just, I don't know, I'm pretty terrible at this food review. <laughs> Let's just say the food was delicious, but for the price, I think I'd probably eat my fish and chips at Epcot. That's what we'll do, that's what we'll say. But there are more stores and more things to see here at Disney Springs. I just can't get over this weather, you guys. This is like the nicest weather we've had in such a long time. Humidity is low, nice breeze, clear skies. Tonight would be a perfect night to go out in one of those babies. One day, one day. Days of Christmas is open, you guys. As you can see, we, are pretty much the only ones in here. Now every year Abby and I give each other a new ornament. So we have to come in here and kind of keep up with what we have, what we don't have, and what we want. Because as you can see, there's so many ones to choose. Oh, look at the figment. That is pretty awesome. And I always like this, when you buy three, they're $20 each instead of $22.99. I like these resort specific ornaments as well. Temporary, the Beach Club, Yacht Club, the Polynesian. These are a part of the new Ink and Paint collection. This is amazing, look at that. Ichabod, Mr. Toad, oh, three Caballeros, 101 Dalmatians. These are great. Abby just found this Tiki Room. Wow, that's pretty insane. Wow, that one's amazing. I want that one. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> and I told you guys we would be back to the Art of Disney store and that's where we are headed now. One of my all time favorite stores on property. I can look at this artwork for hours and hours. If somebody wants to buy me this, wouldn't be upset. I'm a huge fan of Mr. Tobe. I proposed to Abby on Halloween night in front of the Headless Horseman. So it's a it's a big deal in our household, the story of the Headless Horseman. Wow, I need all the Sleepy Hollow merchandise. Wow, these are neat. Haunted Mansion salvaged ancient redwood. Wow, the price on these are 
pretty insane. 1600, 1200, and 1600. But that's pretty amazing. Oh, and next to it, there's one of Mickey and Donald. We actually have this in our house, but it's a print version. It's not the actual pan painted. That's $4.99. I think we paid like 20 bucks for this. I just, we found it at Disneyland and we bought it. These are original production drawings from 1940. They have several in here. It's Roger Rabbit. Look at that. We also did a Mickey Mouse Club one. And there's an original sign check by Walt Disney. For We're gonna go inside Goofy's Candy Company. Wow, it's so good to see Goofy. This is insane. It's a monorail candy dispenser. I have no idea how this works. But I want it just because it's a monorail. It holds Pez, so it looks like Mickey and Minnie or whoever you put is riding the monorail. That's insanely cool. It's so good to see them back in action. All the new treats are out. Every time you come in here, just look up. You'll see all kinds of crazy stuff. Look at the goo coming out of the vat of goo. And Goofy's up there saying, Garsh, thanks as you're leaving. And the pin trading is open. Let's see if they have any new stuff in. Some new Magic Bands, Mulan. I believe that's just a, nope, it's a mini here on the bottom, a 1971. And Walt, there's a little classic photo of Walt with Mickey. And I'm seeing some new colors, like a teal, pink. Oh yeah, all kinds of new Magic Bands. I like the Mulan Magic Band. And this is where they have the Indiana Jones 25th anniversary. Funko Pops, these things are huge. Like, compared to my hand, huge. Got a new Fort Wilderness. With Mickey and Minnie in front of a camper. Abby and I said that reminded us of us. And then we were looking at the Pop Century. That was the first resort we ever stayed at together. And All Star. Seeing some new characters as I'm looking through. Oh, Chernabog. Wow, that one's awesome. Power Line. Seeing quite a bit of some, some newer ones. Skull Rock. Peter Pan. This one's really cool. It's almost like three-dimensional. It's rare to see Fantasmic merchandise and there's a pin for Fantasmic. Lots of new pins, very exciting. I'm gonna have to come back and get some some pins and been wanting to get back into the pin trading. Once Upon a Toy is back open too. What's up, Buzz? I'm a sucker for cars. I love looking at the cars toys. I never buy them. I have a few. I have a Mater and a Lightning McQueen, but oh man, that's awesome, the remote control. 23 pieces, wow. Oh, it must be coming with a, yeah, you built your own track with that remote control, Lightning McQueen. These little figures are like hidden gems because look at this. There's Roger Rabbit down there, the Orange Bird, some Muppets. All kinds of characters. That sometimes you can forget about. It's good to be back in a Disney toy store. And I just noticed there's Woody right up there. How did I never notice that before? Well, you guys, our evening here at Disney Springs is coming to an end, but it was a ton of fun. It was super exciting to see some of the stores reopen. But I think it's time to say goodbye. But if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a big thumbs up. I had a blast tonight trying Cooks of Dublin for the first time. I feel like I checked something off of my Disney bucket list. I've never eaten there and it's like a staple here at Disney Springs. So very exciting and it was very exciting to see all those doors reopen. But I'll see you guys tomorrow on a brand new episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>